Hello, I'm Keith Hilson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop, and I want to do a quick 101 video on the Val Trombone. While we don't see the Val Trombone as much used in the United States today, there are a lot of different regional traditions, different uses that we do see the valve trombone in. And it has a very long and storied history, but it's not an instrument that a lot of folks are used to seeing. We get a lot of questions about it when they come into the shop. What is that thing? I didn't know the valve trombone was a thing. So let's talk about it. So the valve trombone is, of course, an instrument in a trombone shape, but instead of a hand slot, it has three piston valves, or sometimes it has three rotary valves. Um, the best way to think about it is that it is a baritone wrapped like a trombone. Just like the baritone is a cylindrical instrument, and we have three valves, um, four valve, uh, valve trombones are fairly rare, but they are a thing. Usually they are three valves. Most often in the US, we see them with piston valves, but rotary valves are a thing as as well. Um, typically in the United States, we see them in the key of B flat. However, the key of C with valve trombone is not uncommon as well. And again, it's something that is used in a lot of regional musical traditions around the world. Um, very often in the US, they are around a 500 board, but there are smaller versions and there are larger versions as well. The history of the valve trombone goes back to the invention of the valve for brass instruments in the 18-teens, 1820s, when we had trombone players figure out that, hey, we can put these brand new piston valves on our instruments. All of a sudden, it gives us different technical abilities. It became so popular in Europe that for quite a number of years, all of the trombone players switched over to valve trombone. There are stories about in the 1840s when German orchestras, for example, started to want to move back to slide trombone. It was actually very hard to find anybody who still remembered how to play slide trombone. Everybody had switched over to valve trombone. And while in general, in a lot of musical settings, especially in kind of our, our Western classical music, the trend definitely moved back to the slide trombone. That wasn't the case everywhere. Uh, for example, in Italy, in the opera tradition, the valve trombone continued to be the instrument of the choice well into the 20th century. That's why why if you are a trombone player and you go some of the, through some of these Italian opera excerpts, they're very different technically because they weren't written for the slide, they were written for valves. As I mentioned, there are certainly a, any number of you know, musical traditions around the world that use valve trombone over slide trombone here. For example, here in Minnesota, we have quite a number of Mexican bandas. Um, this musical tradition uh, based in Mexico uses the valve trombone exclusively over slide trombone, and there are any, no any number of other traditions as well. So how do we play the valve trombone? As far as the armature mechanics, of course, everything works exactly the same. One of the big things that really catches people off is how to hold the valve trombone. Um, unlike the slide trombone, where very often we have our brace here that we can help to support it because of the design of the valve trombone, this puts the main bell brace way far back. It's kind of uncomfortable for a lot of folks. So while you can do that, what a lot of players actually end up doing is holding it by the valve blocks. You end up holding it much more like a trumpet player would. Um, and again, I've seen folks do both ways here. I myself find that a balance is much better if we are holding it by the valve block because of course, all of the extra extra tuning slides and the valves and everything add a lot of weight to the instrument. Holding it by the valves gives you a little bit better balance. It helps it to sit on the shoulder and you're not causing so much stress on your right hand while you're holding it. Thanks for checking out our 101 video on the valve trombone. If you have any questions, comments, or if you'd like to see more videos like this, leave them in the comments here. We'd love to be a part of our community. Hit that like button on this video. Think about subscribing to our channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks as always.